on for a second, Popeyes. Bring your own bread. What? I am trying to make it out the hood. What do I look like participating in some ghetto gangster shit like that? Not your own bread. What I gotta bring next? My own baby chicken too? Feed it, play with it and shit. Wait for him to grow up in the lobby. Get all healthy and strong and shit so I can eat them. That's that ghetto shit the news be talking about. Not just locals. The whole world know about y'all ghetto acts, Popeyes. Nigga, we already see that y'all employees gotta have a master's degree in arguing. How y'all gonna pull this shit? I was just there the other day. I asked an employee for an extra pack of honey and he said, Shut the fuck up! And I had no clue why, so I asked the manager. I kid you not, the manager said, No, bitch! Don't even implement nothing like this. Don't, because the chicken said, Sandwich is already gone. Bring your own bread. I hope this is a joke. That's like going to Steak and Shake, ordering a steak burger meal, and the cashier standing there like, and you said a Sprite for the drink. Okay. So all you just gotta do is bring your own cow, and we can get that order started for you. Like, what type shit is that? And the crazy thing is, niggas probably actually in Walmart right now, watching this video, in the bread aisle, with two loaves in the front of their basket. On their way to Popeyes. Got Popeyes in the GPS. As a loyal Chick-fil-A customer, Chick-fil-A would never. I'm telling y'all that and I told y'all that. Chick-fil-A never run out of bread. Never. They got their own bread tree in the kitchen just growing. We don't know how, but it's Chick-fil-A. They work miracles. Except on Sunday. Which has to be some Illuminati shit. Because I'm still clueless on why.